Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm a coordinator of this economic justice project. We're in Birmingham and this is the first of many popular education conferences we're holding across the country about the financial crisis and what you can do about it. But one of the main things that we've come back to again today is lots of talk, talk about austerity in our own part of the world today, but actually austerity is not a new thing. Austerity was exactly the programme that was pushed on countries across the world, Africa, Latin America and Asia. First of all, you cut government spending, health, education and development. Then you privatise. Thirdly, liberalise your trade and then liberalise money. Bailing out private sector, banks or other industries, socialising their losses and turning the private debt into public debt. We have a range of workshops on topics from tax dodging to green economics to practical skill shares in direct action. There are activists and speakers here from Spain, Greece and all around the UK. Yeah, when you're talking about the cuts in public services, you can absolutely say that there is money, but it's about having a tax system that can get hold of that, put it where we want it. This is a workshop helping people get more confidence in communicating the various economic ideas we've talked about today, because there's no good understanding economics if you can't explain that to your peers and to people around you. People en masse in their neighbourhoods would say we're not going to pay this tax act to the electricity bill. Um, so people were organising on a local level to make sure that you know, if the electricity company comes and cuts the electricity line, people will be there to support them. We're going to march, we're going to have a mad, mass protest march on Westminster. I thought it was a really great day in learning all about the problems of austerity and how we can tackle them. But it's been really brilliant and inspiring to hear stories of resistance, um, both in Birmingham, uh, but also from places like Spain and Nigeria. It's great to see so many different people in one place, and I feel really inspired to go back home and get involved in some more direct action. 